I have what I consider to be maybe a bit of a weird obsession with propaganda cartoons from around World War II and that means that I know what I like and I have to say Scrap Happy Daffy was pretty great and also that title is something that I will probably mess up at least once at once because it's a bit of a tongue twister so apologies if I get it wrong at any point. Scrap Happy Daffy was released in 1943. It is of course a Looney Tunes cartoon from Warner Brothers directed by Frank Tashlin and this one is set in a scrapyard that is being guarded by Daffy Duck and that is him doing his bit for the United States in the Second World War and then Hitler gets very angered by this and the animation of Hitler is probably one of the best I've seen. I thought he looked, well, very striking resemblance to actual Hitler and I thought they did a great job with the animation there. He gets very annoyed by this and sends a goat to eat the scrap, which I thought was very peculiar. Um, but it came across very well. The narrative developed very well. There's a brilliant bit without spoiling too much where Hitler is chewing a rug. I don't know. And Daffy Duck is feeling very disheartened by this. He's very kind of, you know, weary. And then he realises that actually he needs to continue. He needs to keep fighting because, to quote, Americans don't give up. And he transforms into Super American, which is a superhero. And that is blatant propaganda if ever I have seen it. The fact that Daffy Duck is being, you know, his spirits are being worn down by this goat who is making it impossible for him to do his job. And he's thinking, I just want to give up. I don't want to fight anymore. And he says, Americans don't give up. I mean, that's, I, I kind of had to laugh when I heard it because I thought that's just, you know, that's definitely trying to shame people who are not willing to do their bit, who have, you know, by this point, considering this was released in 1943, um, the war as a whole had been going on for four years now officially, and, you know, let's face it, you're going to get weary. And I just thought Super American as a character was, uh, yeah, I had to laugh because it was so appallingly direct. Um, there are a lot of propaganda cartoons that are, you know, do your bit, donate your materials, whatever. No, this one is basically saying you need to be a super American because Americans are the best, we're going to win the war, etc. And, well, hey, maybe it worked because look how that war ended. There was also a bit that I kind of... <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not funny at the time, but just watching it in hindsight, Hitler was screaming in German, non-Aryan duck over and over again as he became increasingly infuriated by the presence of Daffy Duck watching this scrapyard. And there are just so many things in this that are just eye-rollingly awkward and kind of embarrassing and cringy. And in hindsight, it's awkwardly funny. It's not laugh out loud funny, that would be weird. But it's certainly, um, you know, kind of like, I can't believe this is how they would show these things. I would say it's definitely one of the most direct pieces of propaganda. It is fabulously animated. It's very well done. The portrayal of Hitler is definitely not in his favour. Um, I think it has a very strong likeness. Certainly the kind of um, personality he was described as, and indeed we all believe him to be like, um, is definitely going to make you angered and want to fight for your country. Uh, I don't know. Um, I imagine some people might have felt like super Americans after watching this. Maybe the words Americans don't give up was enough to ignite the fuel underneath some people to get them back into the war to push them over the finish line. Who knows? But it's absolutely worth watching. It's one of the best I've seen from a, an analytical perspective, from a historical perspective. But I think at the time, I think it maybe would have been a bit too direct. Because one of the worst things about propaganda is you're encouraging people to go to war which is never a good thing. But of course, you're also encouraging people to stand up for their country, which, you know, patriotism is generally a good thing. Sometimes, well, sometimes it can go to the extreme, as we learned with Hitler. So propaganda can go either way. Scrap Happy Daffy, either way, is definitely one that I recommend you watch. It's certainly very fascinating, if nothing else.